Well, y'all, stay tuned for today's video. We're going to show you bottom loading a trailer at a paper mill, y'all. Might learn something, might not. Stay tuned. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Y'all, welcome back to the episode of the Terrestrial Trucker Channel. Y'all, I am back here at Rogers Cartage. Our terminal here in Southeast Georgia, we are paper mill. We do paper mills. Our terminal is different from all the other terminals. That's all we do is run from paper mill to paper mill. We load it one paper mill, take it and deliver it to another paper mill, which we do like 99% of the loading and unloading. So on this right here, we're gonna show you actual loading at a paper mill. Um, I'll be running 50% black liquor. Um, so we're gonna show you what you have to do to load it, how this trailer is set up to do it. There's two different ways you can do it, but we're gonna show you the way we do it on this one here. But first, I, re I stopped it after two o'clock in the morning, didn't have any hours to go anywhere, so I'm actually sitting here at a flying J. Yeah, mm -hmm. So I'm sitting here scanning receipts in and Got a scan paper, and of course my brain, I have to make notes. Check the oil on my truck, print the bill of ladings, because she emailed me my bills for this weekend, since I didn't go by the terminal, and I need to remember to eat macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but we are parked here against the curb because there was nowhere else to park. Of course, there were trucks all right there, so. Luckily they're gone, but now I can get out. But I hate to park along the curb, but I mean, they were nowhere else. They were two and three along beside the scale and everything else. So yeah, but it is what it is. But yeah, so I can't even log in for another hour and 52 minutes. So I'm up, go eat me some mac and cheese, go do some paperwork, and then we're gonna get on down to the mill and I will show you what it's like to load, bottom load, a tanker, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, there are a couple ways, different ways you can load a bottom load. We've got our internal valve open, our external valve is open, which you can see here. We have our hose hooked up. It's run up to here. You have product valve going to the truck. Here's one of the product lines coming off right here. Here we have airline to blow the line clean, so when you're done, you close this with the product line. You close that product line off. Leave that valve open. Go close the internal valve on your trailer. You leave the big valve, ball valve open. Close the internal, which drops the plunger down. So it allows product in, but not product to come back out. You'll open up this air line, push air through your line. It'll clear your line out. It'll push all the product out of your line into your trailer. Like I say, with that internal closed, it allows product in, but not product come back out. So then you cut your air off. You open this valve, which is a bleed off, which bleeds all your pressure out and just dumps your pressure that's in your hose. So you have that valve, all your valves closed, you close that external valve. When this valve open, all your air pressure comes back out because this valve's closed and so nothing can go anywhere except for through this line right here. So that's how you clear a line. Now, we don't actually open the dome lid. It depends on what you're loading. Like we're loading, we got the dome lid closed but we have a cheater hose. You can't see it, but you can, you can hear it blowing here. So this line runs up to the top of the trailer so we don't have to open the dome lid up. Now we have to go up there and close that valve back before we leave, otherwise product will come back down through here and come out. So you close that one and you close your top one up there. Now when you're loading like that, you need to know how much you're loading. So here we have a flow meter which tells us right there, we've got 24,000 and such. So we're loading, loading right here. This tells me how much product I'm loading. So I know what I'm loading. So then when it gets to where I want to load at 48,000 pounds, I close this valve. That shuts the valve off. The runs around there, runs the pipe right there. Then I'll close this valve first. Then I'll go close that valve. And then I can blow the line clean and I can disconnect. And then we're good to go, y'all. That is how you, one quick, a quick video on how you can do it without opening your dome lid. He 
Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go